and welcome i'm christine thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate it if you are new here please consider smashing that subscribe button it's free to you and it helps me an awful lot and i appreciate it um so we're trying to get into the fall spirit trying it's still hot but it's supposed to be a little bit cooler this coming week so we'll see um uh, we're trying to get into fall, so we're doing pumpkins. So everything you see is going to be some form of a pumpkin DIY. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy it. Watch all the way to the end because I'm not going to post the after pictures until the very end of the video, and I will post them below one time. So watch all the way to the end. Hit that like button. Any comments, I appreciate it. Just comment below and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. Uh, please do join my community though. I appreciate it so much. Thank you all friends. I appreciate you watching. Let's get going. All right guys, first project. I've got this little pumpkin board Dollar Tree scrapbook paper that I have in my stash. I have a lot of scrapbook paper y'all. Y'all might do too from those days of this good old scrapbook. And so I use this decoupage paper, Mod Podge, and some sisal twine. So I'm just going to flip my little um, board over, measure out where I want my paper to go. I'm not going to cover that stem because I am going to actually um, paint that with some antique and wax here, you'll see. So I'm just going to trace around this, cut this out, then I'm going to start using my Mod Podge. Now when you have larger projects, you kind of want to do it in sections. That just gives you time to lay it down, work with the paper, and make sure that it's um, nice and as many bubbles out of it, less bubbles in it. Anyhow, you just want to kind of straighten it out as much as possible. So a section, I'm going to pick it out, put the Mod Podge down, lay my paper down, smooth it out with my hands, and then take and go ahead and put that Mod Podge on top as well. No need to wait for it to dry or until you finish the other. Go ahead. That'll help. You. The motion of that brush will help you lay it out. Then I'm going to pull back the other side, do a section towards kind of the middle section, and then do another section. Now when you get through, be sure to take um, a nail file or a um, piece of sandpaper and then in a downward motion from the top of your project go around all the edges to get off any excess paper. You'll see Bolt laying down there. He keeps me company most of the time when I'm in here so he's just that's his little bed down here when he's in my craft room. So I've got I, my project evolved. It usually does. So I've got some my antiquing wax. I'm going to use that on my stem. I did go ahead and cover the back completely. Then I'm going to go around the edges just to give it an aged effect and take your paper towel, wipe your antiquing wax off to your desired effect. But I wanted my paper to look old. I didn't want it to just look like I glued paper to a piece of board. And then again, it evolved again. I decided I wanted something other else. Something was missing, so I just did a simple bow with some lace. But y'all, this is quick and simple, but pretty. So another one of these pumpkins. This one was a little Yankee. Um, it, it was a little warped, and I didn't realize when I got it. So I'm going to use this um, pretty sunflower stencil on it. I'm going to use some gel stain to color it. Those crafting sticks, I'm going to hot glue those on the back just to kind of straighten the board out, um, make it a little heavier. Then I've got some hemp cord and then my black chalk paint. So you see here, I'm just going to glue these down to the back. That did help to level out the board a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful getting stuff from Dollar Tree because some of it is very warped. Anyhow, I'm going to gel stain all over. I'm going to take masking tape to do my stencil. My technique with stenciling is a combination of stippling. That's when you just kind of push the brush in there and then I kind of go in with um, circular motions too. When you have little details like this, there, there's a lot of edges to the sunflower. Make sure around the edges that you come inward. Don't go outward because you don't want to push the paint under your stencil. You want to kind of come inward. Then here I am just hot gluing that hemp cord around the top and y'all this is a finished project my next one I found this little it's like a little styrofoam um, 
pumpkin and I'm not going to paint it or anything because I like that color. I had these little wood stems from last year and I think I got them from Dollar Tree. I've got a toothpick and a drill bit. You'll see what the purpose of that is here in a little bit. I've got various rub-on transfers that I'm going to use, one even from Dollar Tree and then some florals. So now I've never since um, did transfers before, excuse me, on a soft surface. So this was a little trying. It took a little patience, but um, it didn't help that the pumpkins got all those little creases in it. But you're going to use your little wood tool or whatever they give you. I've seen different things. And then you just make sure you rub it real well. You'll see me here peel off slowly. And then if something's not coming up while you're peeling, lay it back down push it in some more and then always take your little your little layer that you um, did the rub on off of and then take that and smooth that out around your project um, that's called burnishing so you said a little toothpick i just thought that would hold a little bit better so i drilled a little hole into my stem put the toothpick in with some hot glue and then hot glued there into the pumpkin used a couple of leaves and hot glue those in and then that project is finished now i did come back and clear coat that because anytime you're using uh, rub on transfers you want to clear coat this project i had a little flower pot left over i had already painted it i'm not sure what project i was going to use it for but i'm using it for here so it's just white chalk paint y'all and then three little pumpkins so three contrasting colors of chalk paint and then some more of these leaves. And then I had three of those stems, but I'm only gonna use one for the top pumpkin. Barbecue skewers, y'all, help elevate anything that you need to paint and they will help you. And we are gonna use one for our project. And then I decided to use some Spanish moss to fill in all that space in our little pot. So put your piece of floral foam in there, cut it however you need to, Take one of your little barbecue skewers push that down in there now the pumpkins one of them's going to sit in the center and then you want to off center the other two because you want to see the edges you want to be able to see all of them good and then put um hot glue some stems on each one of them and that barbecue skewer was very tall so i did have to cut because i didn't want it hanging out the top and plus i wanted to put my stem down so the top little pumpkin gets a stem and you can see i alternate how I offset them. Here's your finished projects. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you'll try some. Uh, send me some messages below. I will answer any of your questions or anything. I appreciate you guys for watching. And until next time, hope you have a great week.